North Korea issue was the main topic during a recent interview U.S. President Donald Trump gave to CBS. He is apparently determined to work with China to rein in the North Korean regime. Connie Kim shares with us the outspoken leader's ambiguous comments. U.S. President Donald Trump's strategic ambiguity regarding North Korea was highlighted during an exclusive interview with CBS, marking his 100th day in the White House. We shouldn't be announcing all our moves. It is a chess game. I just don't want people to know what my thinking is. So uh, eventually he will have a better delivery system. And if that happens, we can't allow it to happen. From the start of the Trump administration, the U.S. president dealt with the North Korea issue as one of the most pressing foreign policy agendas to solve, bringing up the card of all options in dealing with Pyongyang. But issuing a statement on the regime last week, Washington toned down its voice as saying the doors remain open for talks with the North. In efforts to maximize pressure on Pyongyang, Trump chose to work with China as Beijing exerts significant influence over the regime. And by doing so, Trump has shown that he's willing to give in to China and trade in exchange for helping Washington solve the North Korea factor. I think that, frankly, North Korea is maybe more important than trade. Trade is very important. But massive warfare with millions, potentially millions of people being killed, that, as we would say, Trump's trade. Following the much-anticipated summit between Trump and Xi, as well as their subsequent phone conversations, the two seem to see eye-to-eye -eye about refraining Pyongyang from launching a provocation. I would not be happy. If he does a nuclear test, I will not be happy. And I can tell you also, I don't believe that the president of China, who is a very respected man, will be happy either. And seemingly corroborating Trump's statements, the South China Morning Post reported Beijing would consider an oil embargo for at least six months if Pyongyang pushes the button on another nuclear test, while China's ultra-nationalist Global Times reported Beijing would have little choice but to support harsher sanctions if the regime pushes ahead with its nuclear ambitions. Connie Kim, Arirang News.